Urgent news. Just leaked true price of XRP. XRP to $60,000. It seems that Argentina is gradually following the same path as El Salvador regarding the introduction of Bitcoin. On Monday, Argentina's largest private bank, Banco Galicia, confirmed that it now offers its customers the opportunity to purchase certain crypto assets in its application. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. In partnership with the Liechtenstein-based crypto infrastructure service Lirium, Banco Galicia has started offering crypto services to its customers. According to Bloomberg, this decision was prompted by a survey in Argentina, which reflected the growing demand for cryptocurrency in the South American country. 60% of those who took part in the survey asked to expand access to the emerging market. The Argentine banking giant will offer its more than 7 million customers access only to Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and USD coin when launching the service. According to Martin Kopaz, Chief Operating Officer of Lirium, the service allows users to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, but does not support the withdrawal of cryptocurrencies. However, Kopaz said that the bank will also provide depository services. According to the head, Lirium has entered into a partnership agreement with the Hong Kong crypto exchange OSL to make it possible to provide trading and storage services. A reputable bank confirmed the rollout of the service on Monday in response to a customer's request for the availability of a new feature. In a tweet, the bank said, Hi at Pricati. Yes, we are adding new investment options. If you have any questions, we invite you to write to us privately. It is noteworthy that Banco Galicia is not the only major bank in Argentina that has started providing this service. Numerous reports on Tuesday also say that Brubank has launched a similar service. It doesn't end there. According to Copaz, Lirium is currently working with four other Argentine banks that plan to offer similar services. According to Statista estimates, 21% of the 45 million population of Argentina participated in cryptocurrency transactions, ranking sixth in the world in terms of cryptocurrency adoption. Fortunately, there is little chance of slowing down this process in an increasingly difficult economic situation. Argentina is currently fighting a long battle with inflation, which has reached a 20-year high, jumping to 55% in April. Thus, the cryptocurrency markets in the country have benefited during this economic crisis, as supporters consider Bitcoin an excellent means of protection against inflation. Apparently, Argentina is following the same path as El Salvador, as the country continues to warm up before the emerging market. Speaking last August, District President Alberto Fernandez hinted that the country is open to accepting Bitcoin. It is noteworthy that the Bitcoin-based payment company Strike, which was launched in El Salvador before the adoption of the cryptocurrency, also opened in Argentina this year. El Salvador and the Central African Republic have already accepted Bitcoin as legal tender. No one knows who will be next. Every quarter, Ripple releases a report on XRP markets to provide transparency and updated information about the company's performance and the main stages of XRP. Reports often include Ripple's view of the current state of the industry from both a financial and regulatory perspective for each of the regions in which Ripple operates. This separates XRP investors from investors in other digital assets because XRP holders become informed stakeholders who know exactly where their money is going. In addition, the goal is to encourage trust and open communication in the crypto industry, which may sometimes be lacking. The report describes record growth in key areas such as the growth of the NFT space, the XLS20 upgrade, XRPL interoperability, the creation of an embedded XRPL DEX, and how Ripple is coping with global cryptocurrency regulation. The most impressive thing to note in the report is the record numbers recorded by Ripple, which indicates the rapid adoption of XRP as a global financial payment network. Ripple. Common forms. RippleNet starts the year with record figures. The first quarter of 2022 was a record quarter for on-demand liquidity, ODL, as volume grew almost eight times year-on-year. -year. Overall, RippleNet has demonstrated an annual payment volume of $15 billion, 
indicating unprecedented growth as customers use ODL for a variety of purposes beyond traditional money transfers or individual payments, including treasury payments and vault payments for small and medium-sized businesses. Sales and Purchases in the First Quarter In the last quarter, Ripple's total XRP sales, net of purchases, amounted to $273.27 million compared to $717.07 million in the previous quarter. Ripple continues to engage in ODL-related sales, and these volumes have grown substantially as the Ripple ODL business has expanded. This is great news for XRP holders, as it ensures that the success of the on-demand liquidity service, ODL, which is in demand by all financial institutions, will create a constant market demand for XRP. This means that it is likely to create a long-term bullish momentum for the XRP price, given that there is always demand for the token. A total of about 140 million transactions worth about $61 billion were conducted in the XRP ledger registry in the first quarter of 2022. Ripple. Comet also says, The price of XRP remained afloat, remaining mostly range-bound during the quarter compared to other major tokens, despite declining volumes and in the face of broader macro signals and BTC price movement. In the last quarter, a total of 140. 8 million transactions worth $61. 1 billion in the amount of 80. 8 billion XRP were made in the XRP ledger registry. The community continued to create and promote more projects and applications for various use cases. Ripple has announced the allocation of 1 billion XRP for the XRPL grant program to promote XRPL projects and support projects of an independent community of developers of all types in the XRP registry. So far, RippleNet is starting the year with record figures and expects further growth, especially with the Ripple ODL service. XRP's price movement over the past year has set four distinct lower highs and three higher lows. The connection of these oscillation points using trend lines shows the formation of a symmetrical triangle. This technical formation predicts a 69% rise, determined by adding the distance between the maximum and minimum of the first oscillation to the breakout point. Interestingly, the last three times when the price of XRP approached the lower trend line, it grew somewhere from 70% to 170%. Thus, the latest retesting, which took place on April 29th, shows great prospects for the money transfer token, especially if history repeats itself. Assuming that the XRP price breaks through at $0.827, adding a 69% indicator shows a target of $1.40. However, this technical formation does not have a directional bias. Thus, a sudden surge of pressure from sellers, which leads to the closing of a two-day candle below the lower trend line at zero dollars. 575 may provoke a bearish breakout. In this case, adding 69% to this point shows a target of zero dollars. 176. The live XRP price today is zero dollars. 88 US dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of 3,740,000,000 US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.